Count us in, Hetsy. On one, five, four, three, two. Good evening, everybody, and we're back with Dog Days after a long break, and we'd like to apologize right now about that. You know, just conflicting schedules and you know, tight budget we have, but we're back and we're better than ever right now. We got the East Coast brother, Jacob Hetz from Pittsburgh. Hetz, what's up, son? What's up, brother? How Nothing. you doing? I'm doing good, son. Let's start off right now. <laughs> He's a big rig. The big rigs are the bigger guys on the team. Um, news for now, I now hit 191 pounds. Could I be a big rig? You're a big rig. Congratulations. Wow, thanks. New member on the crew. Now, could you walk us through who is all big rig again? Big rigs? Ross probably takes the cake with that now. Uh, Vic, Money, myself, you are now a new member. Um, Johnny kind of just puts himself as a big rig. I don't, honestly don't know how much he weighs. Um, he's not very tall. He's not tall. That's a kind of really... But I feel like he was the originator of the name he Big Riggs. I mean, actually, Rob was Prophet. He, oh. he was. He brought it up in practice at training camp, and I was like, wow, that's probably the coolest thing I've ever heard. Now, getting to sewer ball, East Coasters, you know, we are, we're, we're, the, we're up there in the sewer ball game. We're pretty sick. Last year, what would you say, who were the usually the top three finalists last top year? Top three were... It would cycle between Perry and Angus, myself, and, and Douglas. And where yeah. are we all from? The East Coast. The East Coast. What, 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 what? Now, the West Coast, they brought their game up. Brett Gervais, he's a great player at Sewer Bowl. He is a great player. But, you know, he just doesn't bring it to the table every time. He does. He has recently, this year, but I would say last year, you know. Some would say he's a scummy Sewer oh, Bowl player. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the scumminess from that kid. That now, earlier in the season... Your billets went out of town. You had to stay somewhere. Did have Stayed to at my somewhere. house. Yeah, we did. We had a sleepover. We had a sleepover. We had over. snacks. We had Thanksgiving together, actually, it at it Denny's. Great. It did. Was that the greatest Thanksgiving you've ever had? I could probably say that's the greatest Thanksgiving I've ever had. I agree, because we had mozzarella sticks, which were fabulous. <laughs> I and had breakfast. You were <laughs> Hetsy was accused of being in the Illuminati. I was. What was that experience like? <laughs> well, for one, I wanted her to stop touching me, because that was weird. She kept grabbing my wrist. I thought she was going to read my fortune after a while because that's the kind of like... She just seemed like a fortune teller. <laughs> what was it that made her think you were in the Illuminati? It was this guy right here. She thought it was... You want to get a close up on that? <laughs> she thought it was the Illuminati symbol. In fact, it's just a regular wristband. It had a B. She thought it was like the, I don't know, whatever the I is. or The uh, triangle. The triangle. Or the pyramid or whatever. The pyramid. Oh. And I was scared. And then she got another gentleman to come and feel me up, which, again, got, things got awkward real quick. It was very awkward, and we soon paid for a meal and left. I didn't even finish my meal, and that's, not, that's unheard of of me. Being McThick the Big Rig. I got a lot of nicknames. all of his meals. Except that one because I was freaked out. Now, recently, I had to take down the fort. Ooh. But you experienced the fort. I did. We what were in the fort. What would you say? Sick. It was sick. And I had my glow-in-the-dark sword. He was protective. the protector of the fort. I was. For the three you, days. If you had the similar bed setup I had, would you create a fort? That's probably the stupidest question you've ever asked me. Of course I would set up oh, a fort. Oh, it would. It would. Oh, the fort. Schwartz, we're ready for our first game. And now it's time for a speed round of questions. Ah, it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> Hatsy, you've played, no, you've never played this game before, but you know how the game's I played. I know how the game's played. Those who don't know how the game's played, I'm going to ask you a serious question. you got to answer as fast as you can. Well, I round them off as fast as I can. Are you ready? I'm ready. He's ready, folks. First question. Your favorite NHL team? Pens, of course. Favorite movie? Bruno. Favorite restaurant to eat at in Fairbanks? Ooh, Thai House. Favorite restaurant back home? Olive Garden. Best friend on the team? Doug. Uh, best roommate that you have right now between Samosa and Kevin? Wow, you're really putting wow. it on me. Throwing right daggers now. out there, folks. See a Samosa? It's Kev. Ooh. Favorite activity to do besides play hockey? Um, I like to play baseball. Favorite thing to do besides baseball? Because baseball's boring. It is boring, you're right. Um, polo. Do you really what? play polo? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Polo? Polo? <laughs> no, dude, it just came to me. Polo. Polo. But now I sound interesting. Don't edit that part out. I sound Get interesting. The shock of everybody. I sound interesting now. Yeah. Well, that's all the questions <laughs> I have. <laughs> wow. I was going to be like, whoa, polo? We're going to wrap like, this up. The fact that he said polo, you know, 
He's the most interesting man. Like the Dos Equis guy. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to wrap this one up. It's been a pleasure to get this show back on. Hetsy, I want to thank you for coming out. Thanks my for man, having me. East Coast brother. Mm, I want to thank Jamie Schwartzwald. We've got Jake Bushy, Ross Olson, Duke LeGrone, and Packy Munson in the building. What, what? Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We'll see you next time.